Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Some of you might know, probably know, if you clicked on this video, that Ramadan is coming, which is very exciting for me. I am ready, even though, you know, it's gonna be different this year, unfortunately not being with our loved ones. I wanted to keep it positive, and I asked you guys if there's anything that you guys would like to see in Ramadan-related content, and a lot of you said yes. So I was really excited about that, and I also, of course, asked you guys what you would like to see, and what I noticed was a lot was focused on more motivational, goal-setting, etc. So that is what we're doing today, and for that, I actually created something for you guys, which is a Ramadan-inspired goal-setting strategy. You can download it down below by pressing the link and if this doesn't work, you are more than welcome to hit me up on Instagram with your email and I will send it to you ASAP. I wanted to plan this together with you and show you how I will be using this. So I'm going to share my screen with you and then I will go through it with her step. So as you can see, it is quite girly. I am sorry if there's any men that want to use this. I am quite girly. But on the first page, you can see that you have the opportunity to write down all of your goals. So it is divided in spiritual, health and physical, intellectual and work, and social. So maybe it is handy to have some background information. I am half Turkish, I am half American. This means that half of my family is Muslim, half my family is Christian. I was brought up as a Muslim. However, we do celebrate Christmas not for Jesus, but for Santa and presents, if that makes sense, more the cultural aspect. I have been fasting my whole life, and I know the purposes of it, and I am, you know, kind of <laughs> uh, in the know-how. However, I would like to this year really work on my knowledge about it. This is why my first goal is read one book. I also got a podcast from a very good friend of mine to listen to, Samira. Thank you. And uh, which I will link down below if you're interested. So I'm going to focus on trying to, you know, when I clean, I usually listen to podcasts. So I will try to listen to these podcasts to learn as well. What is good to note is these goals, after two weeks, you get to revisit your goals. So then you can check and see how everything's going. So then I have for my health and physical goals, I have to stick to my workout routine. I've been working out pretty frequently since I have been stuck at home. Who knew quarantine would make me get a fit body? I definitely did not know that. Also, I want to limit my social media habits and I want to nourish my body with healthy food. Okay, intellectual slash work. I want to read two books, spend extra time learning French because I'm taking French courses, so I really want to invest the time that I have also in quarantine to learn, spend extra time using the learning apps that I am provided through my work. And then last but not least is social. Social for me is take the time to call my family. I do not like phone calls. I hate making phone calls. If I make phone calls you with you, you better know that you're real special because mm -mm, I don't like doing that at all. So I'm going to try to check up on my friends consistently. So, so after you fill in the first page, you come to the second page. This I made for you to really go into these goals. In the first part, you also see that it says, this is what I will do to reach my goals this week. So there you really specify how you're going to reach these goals. You of course don't have to tackle every goal in the first week but the ones that you do want to go work on write down really easy how you're gonna do it. once the week is finished you have two little columns on the bottom that says what I am grateful for so these are things that during the week once you're fasting you can think okay this is something that I'm really grateful for and last for this page is what I'd like to remember so these are tips you can write for yourself or special occasions or special memories, anything you want to write down. And then you have reflection. So I have an area for you to write your thoughts about the week. How did it go? What went well? What could have gone better? This is the time to look at that. And then of course, we have to also be in touch with our emotions, what you felt this week. You have the same process for week two, so I will skip that. And then you have the revisiting goals page. After two weeks, I want you all to relook at your goals and to review them and see if you are still aligned with these goals if you still think these are important to you or if you want to change them because it's possible that they're not as important for you anymore last but not least is the last reflection of week four right before eight I want you guys to sit down and reflect on your month I hope this will bring out the positivity and everything you learned and everything you're grateful for for this year so the first thing I have is what I want to remember about Ramadan 2020 if there's anything special that happened to you or if there's anything you learned or if there's anything you know you just want to remember write it down and then you have what I will continue doing. So maybe you learn a new habit, maybe you learn something you want to keep on doing. Maybe you stop smoking, you know, if you smoke and you're like, 
hey, <laughs> I can continue doing this, great time to do it. So write it down. And last but not least, it is a small area. I understand you can take a whole page if you need to. You can write here my favorite part about Ramadan 2020. So anything that you really, really loved of this month, write it down. It's a kind of cool time capsule because how many other times are you gonna be in quarantine during Ramadan? I hope never again. So, <laughs> but it's good to have and good to remember and be, you know, thankful later on looking back on it. So that was a worksheet I made for you guys. Again, you can download it below or send me a message with your email on Instagram and I will send it to you. I really hope this is useful for you. If you use it, if you print it out or if you use it on your computer, please, make a picture, <laughs> snap it, I don't care, tag me, I wanna see it. I would think it's so cool if people will actually use this. And if you have tips or if you think there's anything we can change about it, let me know. So I hope it helps you prepare for Ramadan 2020. And tomorrow will be a extra video as a thank you for commenting so much on my post about if you wanted to see videos related to this subject. So tomorrow we will focus on our food and dietary tips that I have for you to stay fit and healthy during the Ramadan months. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe down below. I hope your fasting will be accepted and I hope you all are safe, healthy, and happy and have a lovely day, morning, evening, afternoon, midnight, whatever you're having, I hope it's wonderful and see you next time.